Chapter 13 Fundamental Rights and Duties Introduction Mohandas Karam Chandra Gandhi, popular known as Mahatma Gandhi, was born at Porbandar in Gujarat in 1869. His father's name was Karam Chandra Gandhi. His mother's name was Putli Bai. He was married at a young age to Kasturba Gandhi. He went to England to study law and spent about 22 years in South Africa as a law and activist. Indians were suffering lots of humiliation and discrimination at the hands of whites of South Africa. Gandhiji himself was humiliated on a few occasions. Once he was thrown out of the first class compartment despite having a valid ticket because he was an Indian, he launched a long drawn Satyagraha movement in South Africa which fetched many concessions or to the Indian living there. Gandhiji returned to India in 1915 after a couple of years, became the most important leader of the national movement led by the National Congress. He wanted every Indian to unite, putting aside religion, gender and caste, then only the country would achieve freedom. Since the majority of Indians were poor, he gave up all his comforts and luxuries and started leading a simple life. He himself made in cotton crates or charkha spinning wheel and requested the people to wear only khadi or homespun clothes. He was saddened by the shabby treatment meted out to low caste Indians by the higher caste Indians. He set an example by living with those who were called untouchables. He gave them a new name, Harijans, which meant children of God. He believed that the best way to achieve freedom from the British rule was through non-violence and non-cooperation. For his contribution to the freedom movement, he is called the father of the nation. Do you know? Nobel laureate Labindranath Tagore was the first person to use the word Mahatma or the great soul for Gandhi. The Rawlett Act After the First World War, the British government, instead of rewarding Indians with some concessions and reforms, introduced some laws to curb their freedom. One such law was the Rawlett Act passed in 1919. This law allowed the government to send anyone to jail without a trial in court. If anyone protested against the various acts of the government, very strict measures were to be taken against him or her. Jallianwala Bagh Massacre General Jayar, a British officer, had imposed ban on all meetings and processions in Amritsar. But some people went ahead with a peaceful meeting in a park named Jallianwala Bagh. The park had only one exit. On General Jayar's order, the policemen blocked that exit and started shooting at the people. Thousands of people were killed seriously injured. Many of them were children and women. The massacre took place on the occasion of Baisakhi on 13th April 1990. To protest against this cold-blooded massacre of innocent people, the Indian National Congress at the initiative of Mahatma Gandhi started the non-cooperation movement in 1920. With this began the Gandhian phase of freedom movement. Let me answer. Have you ever been to Amritsar? If how was your experience? The non-cooperation movement was a non-violent protest movement through Satyagraha. Its ultimate aim was to achieve independence by peaceful means to ink the line of non-violence and truth. Thousands joined this movement which soon echoed throughout the country. Students shunned British-run schools and colleges and the lawyer boycotted the courts. People picked shops selling British-made goods and asked people to buy so they should Indian-made goods instead picketing mean protesting outside the entrance of a factory or shop in order to store work. Elections and government functions were boycotted. Titles and honors given by the British government were returned. Rabindranath Tagore returned the knighted hood given to him by the British government in 1915. Health and Wellness Mahatma Gandhi always believed in truth and non-violence. Exposure to non-violence is associated with happy mental health in children with adolescents. The movement went and planned for two years but it turned violent at Tori Chora, Uttar Pradesh in 1920. A procession of farmers were fired at by the police and in the retaliation the people at the Chori Chora police station on fire killing 22 policemen disappointed at the violent incident. Gandhiji called off the movement. Some Indians got disappointed with the withdrawal of the non-cooperation movement. They started revolutionary activity against the British government. 
दे फेल दैट नॉन वॉयेंट मूवमेंट वुड नॉट गेट देम फ्रीडम भगत सिंह चंद्रशेखर आजाद सुखदेव राजगुरु बटुक्ष दास सूर्य सेन बिनॉय बादल एंड दिनेश वर सम ऑफ दीज रेवोल्यूशनर्स हु फाउट अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट एंड लॉस देयर लाइफ देयर ब्रेवरी हिरोइज्म एंड सेक्रीफाइसेस आर रिमेंबर्ड इवन टुडे Simon Commission The British government constituted a commission in 1927 Sir John Simon headed the commission its objective was to review what was wrong with the law and order situation in India and come up with the new reforms the commission come to India in 1928 the congress boycotted it as three was no indian among the seven members of the commission the people protested with the black flags and shouted slogans like simon go back lala lajpat rai was grievously injured in the lathi charge at the protester and a few days later succumbed to his injuries research and analysis gandhi ji used non violence to achieve freedom find out other countries that were influenced by gandhi ji's ideas of satyagraha and gain freedom through non violence civil disobedience movement the efforts of the simon commission got aborted ultimately the government challenged the indian national congress to form a constitution which could be accepted by all groups of indians the challenge was taken up the nationalists who made a committee headed by motilal nehru for this purpose a draft constitution was formed but the government rejected it the congress then decided to get complete independence from the british at its lahore session the congress decided to celebrate the independence day on 26th january 1930 and raised its own flag it also decided to launch a new movement under the leadership of mahatma gandhi this movement came to the be known as the civilization disobedience movement other prominent leaders of the movement included jawaharlal nehru sardar ballabh bhai patel dr rajendra prasad maulana abul kalam azad and sarojini naidu the movement began with dandi march in march 1930 The government had a monopoly or complete control over the manufacture of salt. Indians were not permitted to collect salt from the sea, rather they had to purchase it from the British at high prices. Gandhi ji decided to defy this law. Along with 78 of his followers, he built his Sabarmati ashram in Ahmedabad for Dandi, situated at a distance of over 300 kilometers on the sea coast of Gujarat. On reaching there, he picked up a handful of salt, breaking the salt law. This was an open defiance of the British law. Indian Heritage Connect Gandhi ji's India ashram was originally established at the Kuchar bungalow of Jivan Lal Desai a barrister and friend of Gandhi on 25 May 1915 at that time the ashram was called the Satyagraha ashram it was from here that Gandhi led the Dandi march also known as the Salt Satyagraha on 12 March 1930 the Indian government has established the ashram as a national monument Lack of people joined the movement. Peasants, landlords, students, professionals, women, and even children joined the movement. They all defied laws at different levels in different parts of India. Following the steps of Gandhi ji, many people broke the salt law at different places along the coast of India. Thousands of people were arrested as people were being stuffed into jails. More and more joined the movement, which soon spread all over the country. The movement continued till 1934. In the meantime, Gandhi ji was twice invited to attend the Round Table conferences, which bore no fruits. Gandhi ji and other leaders were all. also arrested the british tried to tone down the nationalist fever by introducing certain changes to the government of india act 1935 but the indians remained unsatisfied they now did not want any changes but only freedom however the congress participated in the elections held in 1936 to prove how unpopular the government was with indians The Congress formed the government in most of the provinces. World War II broke out in 1936. Again, the British wanted India to help in the war efforts. The British dragged India into the war without consulting the India leaders. The Congress government in the provinces resigned in protest. The British government remained abandoned and was not ready to listen to Indian leaders. So Gandhi ji asked the British to quit India and appeal to the people to do or die. meaning indians should either win freedom or die trying to get it this movement started 1942 and was termed as the quit india movement let me answer have you heard about quit india movement before 
tell three main highlights of Quit India movement. The Indian National Army Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, popularly named as Netaji, was one of the brilliant leaders of the freedom movement. He represented the younger generation of the Congress leader. He had got through the pertiguous India Civil Services examination but did not join it as he was interested more in serving the motherland. He joined the Indian National Congress and was twice elected successfully as its president. Despite Gandhiji's opposition towards his candidature, he later resigned the government arrested him and sent him to jail. But due to his deterring health, he released and was put under house arrest. By calm flagging himself, he escaped to Russia via Afghanistan. He went from Russia to Germany and met Hitler, who helped him to reach Japan. With the Japanese help, he organized the Indian National Army or Azad Hind Force at Singapore and marched on towards the borders of India via Burma, now Myanmar. This army defeated British Army at several places in East, but with the defeat of Japan in the World War II, the Indian National Army got decimated. Fact Finder The two most famous slogans given by Subhash Chandra Bose were Give me blood and I will give you freedom and Delhi Chalo March on to Delhi Freedom Achieved After the end of the World War II, the British had no option but to give India her freedom. The Labour Party came to power in Britain and the new Prime Minister at least started the process of granting freedom to India. A new Varsi Lord Mountbatten was sent to India. India was divided into two parts, India and Pakistan. Pakistan was declared free on 14 August 1947, while India became free on 15 August 1947. Jawaharlal Nahru became the Prime Minister of India while Muhammad Ali Jinnah became the first Governor General of Pakistan. When India became a republic in 1950, Dr. Rajendra Prasad became the country's first president. Summary The non-cooperation movement was launched in 1920 and called off in 1992. Many nationalists got dissatisfied after the withdrawal of the non-cooperation movement and started revolutionary activities. The Simon Commission was greeted with black flag and slogan shouting all over the country. The civil disobedience movement 1930-34 began with the Dandi March. The Quit India movement was launched in 1942. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose organized the Indian National Army or Azad Hind Forj. India achieved her freedom on 15 August 1947. Dr. Rajendra Prasad was the first president and Jawaharlal Nehru the first Prime Minister of India. Art Integration Make an Indian Flag You will need kidney beans, rice greens, orange and blue paints, glue and a sheet of paper. 1. On a sheet of paper, draw the outline of Indian flag. 2. Paste the rice along the portion where the flag is supposed to be and the kidney beans as the line for the post. 3. Once it is dry, paint the rice with the national color. Do not forget to paint the circle at the center. Exercises Creative Expression Tell your story. October 2nd is celebrated as Gandhi Jenti. How would you like to celebrate the day with your family and friends? Discuss your ideas for celebration with your friends in the class. Cross-curricular connect. Critical thinking. Let's play a game. Anu wants to play a memory game with his sister. Ria, however, Ria needs your help to remember the dates and the year. Would you help Ria and Anup to play this memory game? Write the years in which these events occurred. 1. Partition of Bengal 2. Jallianwala Bagh Massacre 3. Non-Cooperation Movement 4. Civil Disobedience Movement 5. Quit India Movement 6. India Gets Freedom Logical Decision Making Gandhiji believed in truth, satya, non-violence, ahimsa and the golden rule in contrast. Bhagat Singh was an Indian revolutionary freedom fighter hanged to death by British colonists at the age of 23 years. He was an avid reader of the teachings of Mikhailai Bukain and also read Karl Maxen, Vladimir Lenin and Leon Trotsky. Whose philosophy appeals to you more, Mahatma Gandhi or Bhagat Singh? Why? Let's practice. A. Write short answers to the given questions. 1. Name the British officer involved the Jallianwala Bagh massacre. 2. He retained his knighthood in protest of Jallianwala Bagh massacre. 
3. What were the two popular slogans during the Quit India movement? B. Write long answers for the given questions. 1. Why was the non-cooperation movement withdrawn? 2. Why was the Simon Commission constituted? Why was it protested by the Indians? 3. Write what you know about the Dandi March. C. Fill in the blanks. 1. Dr. Rajendra Prasad became the first Dash of India. 2. The British appointed the Dash Commission of Review, the law order situated in India. 3. The Dash Act was passed in 1919. 4. Dash Movement was launched in 1942. 5. Dash means Children of God. D. Multiple Choice Questions 1. The slogan Do or Die was coined by 1. Gandhi 2. Subhash Chandra Bose 3. Jawaharlal Nehru 2. Gandhiji started the Dandi March from the Dash Ashram in Ahmedabad 1. Savarmati 2. Gomti 3. Ganga 3. Gandhi ended the non-cooperation movement after the Dash 1. Chori Chora Incident 2. Dandi March 3. Jaliawala Bagh Massacre E. Match the following Column A 1. Opposition to the Partition of Bengal 2. Disobeying laws peacefully 3. First President 4. Indian National Army Column B A. Dr. Rajendra Prasad B. Swadeshi and Boycott Movement C. Subhash Chandra Bose D. Non-Cooperation Movement F. Take the correct options 1. About how many years did Gandhiji spend in South Africa? 1. 15 2. 20 3. 22 4. 23 2. The Jallianwala Park incident occurred on Dash 1. 3 April 4. 13th May 3. 23 May 4. 23 August 3. Who named Gandhiji Mahatma? 1. Jawaharlal Nehru 2. Motilal Nehru 3. Rabindranath Tagore 4. Gopal Krishna Gokhale 4. The Congress decided to celebrate Independence Day on Dash 1. 15th August 2. 31 December 3. 26 January 4. 2. October 5. Gandhiji started the Dandi March along with Dash followers 172, 278, 388, 498 Conceptual Understanding Complete the timeline on world events and the freedom struggle of India from 1990 to 1947 Correlating major events Writing skills Freedom fighters were people who sacrificed their lives selflessly for the freedom of their country. Even today, 75 years after we won our independence, India's freedom fighters never fail to make us feel good about ourselves. Find about a good freedom fighter from your state who has changed your life and made you feel proud to be an Indian. Write a paragraph about their achievement and also paste a picture of the fighter in the given box below.